Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Our Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be here today? Yes, sir. Can you just tell your neighbor Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Please greet somebody by your side and say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wonderful. On Friday, we were here, and we had a very wonderful time. The Christmas carol was so successful that we give God all the glory. Amen. 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 We give God all the glory. And today, I'll be bringing the word of God to us. It's Christmas time, and I, we have no choice but than to preach about the birth of Jesus Christ. Because this is the season. Somebody say amen. Amen. Are you all happy? Yes, sir. But before I preach, I will, I will, let us stand up. Let, let's do some declarations or prayers. Let's please stand up. Stand up. Let's pray. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Let's let 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 let's pray a little bit, then we'll start to to preach. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We just want to appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can you open your mouth and begin to thank God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank him that you are alive thank and well is by his grace. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, God thank Almighty, you, our Father. Thank we you, thank you. Thank we you, thank you, Lord. Jesus. We give we you all the glory. Because of your thank you, Lord. Of your thank you, Father. Thank you. You are worthy to be praised. There is none like you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O God. Father, we thank you. We ascribe our greatness to you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Mandore hebo shandari hikebo shakalababa. Rama sitere bo koko koko koso da baba. Prasi kata ta bore momo momo. Mandere hebo shakali greso kapata ta. Prako loko chotu bro kofuta ne ne maha. Mene ne hebron sondare in makatata. Ligorobo shatalenana. Lino na haba sata. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Could you lift up your right hand and say this one after me? Say father. Father. No, everybody should pray. Now say father. Father. Thank you. Thank you. For your goodness. For your goodness. For your mercy. For your mercy. For your loving kindness, for your loving kindness throughout, the year, throughout the year, from January to December, from January to December Father, I am grateful. Father, I am grateful. Thank you, Thank you for the gift of life, for the, gift of life the gift of breath, gift of breath the gift of everything, the gift of everything in Jesus' name. In Jesus Open name. your mouth and put Father, that as a prayer. Thank, thank God, God that you are alive. Father. And thank well, it, it is by His grace you, that you are alive and well. Thank you, Lord. Thank we, give you you, you, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. Jesus, thank we thank you, you, Father God. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name. We give you all the glory. Thank you are Jesus, worthy to be praised. Blessed be your name, O God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please, I want you to pray this prayer. There are, we are thanking God, but there are some things that have not happened that many of you had wanted, but we still have a few days before this year is over. It's never too late for our God. Is somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. So lift up your right hand. Say, Father, Father, I ask that you, I ask that you, we remember me, we remember me, for good, for good, in this season. In this season. Father, Father, I ask, I ask that you will remember me, you will remember me, for good, for good, in this season. In this season. Open every closed door. Open that must be open for me at this season. Open your mouth and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you remember me in the name of Jesus. Remember me for good. Father, open every closed door that must be open in the name of Jesus. Every closed door that must be open 
Open closed doors for me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name Somebody say in Jesus name Father you see one thing God have done things for us this year already Don't be afraid The devil cannot undo it It can never be reversed They will try it But their neck will break uh, so lift up your hands and say, Father, Father what, you do, what you do, no force on earth, no force on earth or, in hell, or in hell can undo. Can undo. You, have me. you have blessed me. No cause can work no in my life. Work, 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 you have life. blessed me. Have blessed no sickness can work in my body. No you have blessed my family. Blessed my there family. shall be no death be no among death us. Among in the name of Jesus. Any counter attack, we reply them with fire. In Jesus' name, open your mouth and pray. La sota la na ne mahata tabaga. Rimon to brege batale ya bakandore bobo. Ramasika bronto brege peke te da baha. Mane ne mo shakara lele le bo shakadika bababo. Rana kebranka vale ke te de brege bakatonama. Ikabara sona mahikere postolala, randa kabare kotola bahikere bodo dobro, rana kipotone habate ne mekete debre, mande rehevo sona na mahikara balekete debre, pata kaba sota ba. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Let us attack some of the altars that have destined written names that people who will still die this year. Those altars are liars. In the name of Joseph, Father. We release the fire of judgment, of your judgment against any altar, demanding my blood, demanding my life. I set them on fire. Open your mouth and pray. Lanto rabaha de 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 broko foko to da bakata ta rika bakaso no no mo shikara balekete ria bakata ta braka fakate de breke foko to rege de de breke foko la casa da braka fakale kata rwana na ma shikara balekete de breke foko to rika da da bakate de breke foko da da bakasa rika bakale kete de breke foko to to bro ligro soko broko foko da na ma hi. Rika baka soto breke baka sika linke tete breke baka te rika baka sona maya hika tata braka baleke rano na hike boto da baba iko toto bra we set those orders of fire order demanding my blood order that, that, that of, of death we command you in the name of Jesus be destroyed be roasted by fire and your agent be roasted in the name of Jesus langro soka rama hiko ta rani ne mahate rebo soko to. Liborobo Sakara Mahiko to Dobra, Frankos Nakitola Maha, Minona Shaka, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So you still pray one prayer. Father, whatever sickness in my body we never follow me to cross over. Amen. Whatever affliction in my body we never follow me to cross over. Amen. Whatever load the enemy have placed. I fall them down. They will not. Cross, they will not cross over with me. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, I thank you for taking care of me, care of preserving, me. My life. preserving my life. I pray, I pray as we are about to cross over to, cross to 2024. 2024. In, the in the name of Jesus, I command. I command no, sickness follow me. no sickness shall follow me. No disease shall follow me. No no load shall be on my head. I return every evil arrow back to sender. Open your mouth and pray. La nona hakate te breke foto yikabaka so da braka fakate mande de heve te te breka. No sickness, no disease, no sickness, no disease. We follow me. Mande de heve shata mi karabale kato te breke fe rego zuna mahakate te breke fatali. In Jesus mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Lift up your hands and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for answering our prayer. Answering our we, prayer. Receive every we receive every answer right now, right now. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. 
Come on, God bless you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Our God is good. And all the time, the Lord is very, very, very good. Today, I want to talk about the birth of Jesus Christ. But the title, actually today, the birth of Jesus brought peace and joy. Amen. The birth of Jesus brought peace and joy. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 1 from verse 26. Luke chapter 1 from verse 26. Hallelujah. I read from verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel of the Lord, angel Gabriel, was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph. I'm reading King James, depending on what you are reading. Of the house of David, and the virgin's name was called Mary. Verse 28. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hey, thou that art highly favored, and the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled. At his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. I prophesied on you today. May today be the day God will favor you. Amen. May the favor of God locate you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me explain one thing to you before I begin to read. Anytime we are reading the word of God, is it the same anointing and the grace as it was then? Is the same now? As I am, as I am reading it out, that grace is coming upon you. Amen. That that favor is coming upon you. Amen. Wherever you have been disconnected or discounted or that not regarded, the favor of God will take you back to your place. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Hallelujah. Verse thirty-one. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Verse 34. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be? See, I know no man. Angel, I'm talking now. I know what you are saying. You said I'm going to be pregnant. I understand. But as far as I know, a woman cannot be pregnant without a man. How can this one be? And the angel said in verse 35, And the angel answered unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Somebody say amen. amen. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore, also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Somebody say amen. amen. He said, how will this one be? He said, the Holy Ghost is going to come over you, and the power from high shall overshadow you, and you shall become pregnant, and the the child you are going to be, to give birth to shall be called the Holy One of God. Listen to verse 38. This is a coded word. I have decoded it many times. You want miracle to happen for you, think back what God has done for you. If you can thank God, if you can re-echo it, the past of what God has done, you are in position to receive something new. But this place now, the angel is going to share not gossiping, but a testimony to encourage Mary. What I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. It has happened before and it will happen now. In verse 36, and behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. He said, listen, I'm talking to you. You know your cousin called Elizabeth. She is six months pregnant. This is a woman everywhere. They have known her to be called barren. 
I don't know what they have been calling you, but there is a turnaround today. Yeah. Whatever they have named you secretly, they look at you. That is what they are calling you. Look at the young, beautiful girl, but she's not married. Look at the young man. He's, he's, he, even he has not got his papers. Look at this one. He's always sick. Look at it. No! There shall be a turnaround today. Amen. Yeah. Whatever they have given you, but not what God has called you, there is a change taking place amen. today amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, help me say amen. 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 Do you know why? Because the angel, this is a principle we should learn here. For Mary to be convinced, that should be a testimony. And the angel was sharing the testimony. Your cousin called Elizabeth. She has been known everywhere to be a barren woman. She is not just pregnant, already six months pregnant. And Elizabeth said, wow. And then, listen to what she said. This one stopped every argument. In verse 38 and um, verse 37, the, the angel hammered the word. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Amen. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Amen. And then in verse 38, Mary, this is the coded word that brought the miracle. Everyone all over the world celebrating Christmas today. We are celebrating in every church because Jesus is born. If this answer here in verse 38 was not rendered from Mary, it would have been aborted. But Mary said, and Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. And the Bible said the angel left her. What she said, you have spoken. I yield. I surrender. I have received. I have admitted. I have accepted whatever you have said. She yielded willingly. You must yield to God willingly. And then the miracle would take place. And when she yielded, that was all. Let it be unto me. I don't argue, I surrender. You have spoken, I'm convinced, I know who you are. I surrender. And if today, today you can surrender your heart to Christ, he will come into your life and there will be that miracle you have been expecting. Hallelujah. He said, I submit and I yield. And the angel left. But now listen, something may Mighty, this is where I want to address us today. Today I'm not actually preaching, I'm only just advising. Something happened in verse 40, in verse 39, first of all. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into the city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. I stop here. Angel have just spoken with her. This and this will happen. Please pay attention. Hallelujah. The angel have just spoken. And now, what happens? She have just received a miracle. But, listen, this is your own advice. What will she do with this miracle? How is she going to handle it? What flashed to her mind? The Bible says she went to the hill country, not to the valley. When God speaking to you, first of all, go on to the mountain to pray. Look for where that is higher. Because God speaking to you from above. That is number one. Number two, who are you going to meet? That matters. Because now, iron sharpened iron. She had to look for somebody that will not abort the child. Somebody that will not speak negative. Somebody that will agree with her faith. Somebody that will sharpen iron, sharpening iron. Who could be the right person was Elizabeth. Most of the time, why you have not received your miracles? It's not God that has not answered you. But you have spoken to the wrong people. That will tell you things that are negative. Some of you, you have business idea. And you have not started, but your mouth is so open, you have sold it to your friends, not knowing this your friend are jealous of you. The advice they will give you is for you not to succeed. But it will look good. But at the end of it, 
they don't really want you to succeed. Some of them, not all of them. Many of you, I have a boy. That one is happening in most parts. I have, I have this a young man I want to marry. What if you are telling your friend this? Tomorrow you find out that your friend is marrying the person you are introducing. You go behind him. So be careful who you tell your story to. Very, very important. Elizabeth, number one, went to the he. When you receive from God, the first thing you should do, put it in prayer. Go to a place where you can stay to solidify that which God has spoken to you. Maybe you dreamt God has just blessed you in that dream. Maybe you dreamt something could happen. Before you start to papa, papa, tell everybody, go on your knee. Find time to solidify. Put it in prayer. Let God be number one. Is somebody hearing me? And number two, look for a prayer partner that you can trust, that you can agree with you, that can pray with you. Don't go to anyone that is dream killer. If not that she went to Elizabeth, the baby would have been aborted. Most of you, you have killed that which God has given you by a wrong person you met. Not knowing most of them are even witches. But they laugh with you in the daytime. But in the night, they are never your friend. Be careful who you tell your story. Is somebody hearing me? This one is very important today. Very, very important. When you have something that will bring you joy, let it be between you and God and the person that can help you. Not the dream killer. Never. Because it, it, in the world we live, many people are wicked and desperate. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. You see, you may not know it the way you are right now. You are far better than millions of people, billions of people. And you are looking at yourself, looking at others, trying to emulate them. No, they are jealous of you. But you may not know it. Many people want to be like you. But you, you are looking at yourself as no notity. No, if they are able to push you out to be like where you are, they will be happy. Hallelujah. I remember, let me just tell a little story before I continue to complete this one. Two old men were sick and they were in the hospital. And one of them was by the window. The other one was at the middle of the, of the hospital, the bed. The one by the window, he can sit, but he shouldn't stand up because of the nature of the sickness. The one at the middle shouldn't even sit down. He should lie down. That is the only way they can treat him. And the one at the middle, at the, by the window, he has cough. When he comes, so except they have to help him. Now listen, I summarize the story. The one, when nobody was there, the one by the window, he will look like he's looking at the window and he will be telling the other one the story. Oh, it is summertime. The children are playing. I could see newly wedded couple with flowers and he will give the story because that one cannot see outside. He was not the extension of bringing joy to that man. He was doing it for that man to be happy. He was feeding the man. Everything happening outside. And he was doing it every day. And that was how that man was being kept alive. But you know what? Not knowing that that man was angry. Because why? Why is it only you that can see outside that I cannot see? He was not happy. But he didn't say it. Then it happened when nobody was there. The man by the window started coughing. And to the extent he fainted. It's a matter of ringing the bell and a nurse will run in and they will be able to fix him back with oxygen and everything. The man will leave. But that man at the middle, because he was angry, he was having his emergency knob on his finger. He didn't press it. That man died. When the nurses came to do their routine, they meant the man was dead. They covered him and rode him away. As they were going, he said, please, can you put my bed near the window? That was only what he wanted. They said, okay, no trouble. And when they removed the dead man, they brought his bed and placed him by the window. They told him never to sit down, but he managed 
to sit by all means. He wants to see outside by himself. When he sat down and removed the curtain, there was no outside. It was a wall. There was nothing outside. It was a dead wall. The only put curtain. What was happening? That man was using his good brain to feed the man that couldn't see so that he could keep him alive. So that he could make him happy. But this man was so wicked, he allowed him to die. Many are worse than that, even in the church. Those one you call your friend. That is what is the story about Elizabeth and Mary. Be careful who you tell your story. Is somebody understanding me now? That is how wicked the world is. That shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. So he discovered, but it was too late. He regretted. He cried, but he has killed the man who was there to bring him light, to bring him joy, to bring him good stories, to keep his company, to keep him alive. He has killed the man because out of jealousy. Be careful who you tell your story. Hallelujah. And, and something, let's, let's read it on. And he entered into the house of Zechariah. That is Jesus in verse 40. We are reading now verse 40. He entered into the house. Verse 41. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Verse 42. And she spoke out with a loud voice and behold and said, Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of the womb. And when is this to me that the mother of our Lord should come to me? Verse 44. For lo, as soon as the voice of the salutation sounded in my ear, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. The birth of Christ is for peace and for joy. Hallelujah. What happened here? Mary was not pregnant. She had gone up to meet Elizabeth. And as she entered, she greeted. She saluted the cousin, Elizabeth. And the baby in her womb that was already, which is John the Baptist, we later know, in her womb, leaped for joy inside, knowing fully where the Lord of Lords is in my house. Not yet born, but he was already just there, probably less than a month. And the baby in the womb leaped for joy. Think about it. Have you ever meditated? We are talking about Jesus. He has not been given birth to. He's just only a baby in the womb. He entered the house. Another baby not yet born was able to connect. And joy was exploded in the house. People started rejoicing. The Bible says, Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. You know what it means? When the Holy Ghost come up, comes upon you, you are full of joy, full of power, full of energy. Sicknesses are gone. Diseases are gone. Pains are gone. Why? Because you are full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus has not spoken a word. He has not been able to even see you were still in the womb. But joy exploded. Now, he eventually was born in the manger. He grew up at the age of 33. He died. And he was buried. He rose again. And now by faith, you have accepted him. He lives on inside of you. You are now carrying that same Jesus. What should be happening on inside of you? There should be peace and joy. When you don't have that peace, when you don't have that joy, then you don't have Christ in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. There should be that Christ on each side of you. There should be Christ. You cannot have crisis when you have Christ on each side of you. You cannot say you are sad. No, there is a generator. There is power. There is dynamis on each side of you that can generate something. Put your music and start dancing in your room. All of a sudden, you start singing. They have abused you outside at your working place. Instead of you being sad, come home. Make a table. Make a feast and start, keep on dancing. Why? Not because of what 
what is happening in the world. You turn television. 300 have just died. You turn this one. Somebody have just shot people in the restaurant or something like that. But there is joy on the side of you. There is power on the side of you. You carry God wherever you go. You should not be looking for who will make you happy when you are a Christian. You have the joy and the peace resident on the side of you. That is what, why Christ was born. Before he was even born, it has started happening, miracles. He was still in the womb. The, another baby is joyous. The woman that is pregnant, full of the Holy Ghost. Now, you have accepted him. He lives on his side of you. Why, are, why is your life miserable? You know what? Christmas is time for you to know who you are. If you come to church, but you have not accepted Christ. This is the day. Allow the peace of peace, the one that gives joy to come on inside of you. When you have him, you are complete. All you need is Christ. And today is the right day. I want everybody to bow head and meditate on the few words I've just given us. And I want you to think deep. Am I really saved? Do I have Christ in me? Am I practicing religion or reality? You must have Christ. I want everybody, because of those that will pray this prayer, let everybody pray together. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for me. I believe that you are the son of God with all of my heart. And I know that you died for me. You were buried on the third day, you rose from the grave for my justification. I hereby declare with my mouth, you, Jesus, the Lord of my life, the Lord of my spirit, the Lord of my soul, and the Lord of my body. Come and live on this side of me. Let your name be named over me. Jesus, you are my Lord forever. I am born again. Come on, somebody shout amen. amen. This is the most important Christmas when you accept Christ into your life. He brings the joy. Sicknesses, we just met away. Disease, we go. You have him. Everywhere you go, you carry God. And that God, we always there. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Somebody shout amen. amen. Are you blessed? Merry Christmas.